And some do Patreon, but... We're not gay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we yeah, stream, heard... obviously. Yeah, I heard that, like, pretty soon, if you make a Patreon account, they'll take more of your money. But older accounts, they don't take as much. Interesting. Because uh, they realized their su uh, success, and now they want uh, more money. Well, uh, don't forget to go to our Patreon and give us money. <laughs> uh, we don't have one. <laughs> Uh, and I don't think... make one. <laughs> I'm not going to make one. Well, I need a car, Henry. No, you're not going to get one. Get the car. All the heroines yeah. are of 18 years old and have confirmed their consent on par participating in this game in written form. Yeah, have you seen Oliana? <laughs> just... Have you seen Oliana? <laughs> I'm just asking. She's 13. At most. 14. 14. 12. 14. 11. 10. Olga and Dmitrievna was already waiting for me at the entrance to the canteen. Good job, Sidney. What did we do? I forgot what we did. Um. Wait. Oh. Um, oh, I think on, we cleaned the canteen. On what? I hid the bag of sweets behind my back. The bag was transparent and too big to put in my pocket. I was talking about the cleanup. Everything is clean and tidy. Well, yeah. And where is Olyana? I wish I knew. Sure, she, she, uh, she'll come soon. Okay, then. Go and have your dinner. I entered the canteen. To my utter lack of surprise, it was full. Now I really don't know how to return the bag without being noticed. Sure, I could do it in the evening, but what do I do with it now? Damien? I turned around. Slovia was in front of me. Wow, what's that? She looked at the bag that I didn't manage to hide in time. Caught red-handed, or more like sweet-handed. Time to prepare for a scolding. Does that count as a, as a joke? That's... Yeah, kind of. No, it doesn't. It'd make more sense. I didn't deliver. <laughs> uh, it, 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 make... it was probably funny in its original Russian. Maybe. These are... Uh... Sweets. Uh, Where from? <laughs> I stole them, damn it. <laughs> I got them from Olyana. Oh, I see. Same old song and dance. What do you mean? It's not the first time she's stolen sweets. And why am I not surprised? Let me handle this. Thanks. Slopia saves the day yet again. She took the bag and headed to the buffet. I had no desire to listen what I had no desire to listen what she was going to say while returning the sweets, so I started to look around the canteen looking for a place to sit. It seems that I'll have to share a dinner table with Ezreal and Sharik. There were no more places to sit. Oh, where's Sharik? What's happening, gentlemen? Do we not have a voice for Sharik? It was Brian. Oh, oh yeah, right. it was um Ed from Ed and Eddie. <laughs> I remember. I don't know if I want to do an Ed voice. I I can't do an Ed voice. Every time I had to deal with them, I got an itching desire to tease them, or at least to drop some cheeky or cocky banter. It might be too risky to behave that way, but the Electronic Brothers were my primary source of positive emotions. How are you doing? Fine, what about you? Hit and miss. Oh. Am I, am I doing it? <laughs> yeah, sure. You, you offered. Do I really have to do this at the end? Yes, you have to do it that way. Did something happen? Lots of stuff. Mind sharing. Nah, some other time, maybe. Oh, come on, Double D. He made a helpless gesture. We're going to the ball after dinner. Ezreal giggled. I know that. Who would you want to ask out? It's the same It's the same color, so it's really throwing me off, Sharik and uh, Ezreal. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I hadn't thought about it yet. What about you? I, well, I... 
It seems that this question caught him off guard. <laughs> Ask Olyana, that would make her happy. Make me happy not to deal with her. <laughs> no thanks. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a different face, but the same pose. <laughs> Ezreal furiously waved his hands. And you, Shuriek, you gotta ask Eliza out. Thanks, I'll pass. He looked calmer than his mate. Oh, come on, guys, it'd be fun. And in any case, we've got things to do. We still have to finish the robot. Oh, that's a marvelous idea. Ask your robot out. Can it dance? It can't even walk yet. Shurik probably missed the point completely. Why, it would be a great d demonstration of our achievements in front of the camp. Demonstration. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like, what do you say <laughs> <laughs> well, a little bit of a brain fart no. Mr. Out there. <laughs> and what would we show to them yeah you're right they both stared at their plates disappointedly blink <laughs> still uh, silent uh, oh ever okay <laughs> Dinner was over, and the pioneers started to disperse. What will you wear for the ball? I asked Shariq and Ezreal. We don't have anything special to wear. We'll go as we are. He indicated his pioneer uniform. They don't seem to care about their appearance at all. Well, why should I care, then? Wearing my winter clothes isn't an option, so I'll just go like this. When does it start? After nine o'clock. Got it. I left the canteen and deeply inhaled the fresh evening air. I remember those rare dances I used to go to at school. Hesitation, insecurity, even fear. I couldn't dance. I didn't know how to react if someone invited me. I wouldn't dare to invite someone else. All in all, I felt pretty uncomfortable about it, and it was even more unpleasant to watch others having fun. It wasn't envy, more like it was a disconcerting feeling that people were able to enjoy something so odd for me. I thought that there were still lots of time till the ball so I could sleep a little to be fresh in the evening. Wait, don't we have something to do? Yeah. <laughs> Entering the camp leader's cabin, I flopped under the bed instantly and shut my eyes. We're an excellent animation of blinking. Oh, it's darker. Strangely enough, I got up right on time, even without an alarm. The clock was showing nine. Such a rare thing to happen. I felt sluggish, though. Probably it wasn't the best idea to sleep during the day after all. No shit. Well, I have to go. Dances are actually, like, really weird. Yeah. Um, dances, like school mm -hmm. dances. It's even worse at campsites. I wouldn't do it at a camp. <laughs> Bunch of weird people. I've walked by them. Oof, no thank you. Probably all square Literally, dancing. it's just... No, it's just a bunch of people standing there not knowing what to dance and a DJ going crazy. <laughs> Sounds like every dance. <laughs> yeah, but at least Sounds people like every DJ. I was standing at the square. <laughs> at least at a school, everybody's jumping up and down. Yeah, no thanks. The loudspeakers and some DJ equipment were installed near the monument, and the trees were decorated with light strings. Ah, typical country ball. A lot of pioneers were around, <coughs> but no familiar faces, so I just sat on a bench and waited. I don't have to dance after all. Maybe I'll be able to just sit and chat with someone. <sighs> hey there, sad face. Oliana. Bleh. Here to suggest something? Come on, let's dance! It's way too early. There isn't even any music yet. Blah, you're so boring! Yeah, I'm not the merriest person for such an event. She ran away. So, Oliana did wear something like a 
in evening dress. Pretty funny. Hey. Just love ya. Hey. She sat down by my side. How's the evening? Fine. Why are you so sad? <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm not. Okay, well dancing will surely cheer you up. I mean, maybe. Don't forget to save one dance for me. She laughed and ran towards the music equipment. The situation was getting serious. I wouldn't be able to sit through the whole dance party. <laughs> hi. Lana came closer. Oh, hi. You're uh, you're here too. Is that such a wonder? Yes. <laughs> yes, it is such a wonder. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Gonna light this party up. The joke fell flat. Lena blushed and looked down. Why? <laughs> well, uh, maybe that's not the best idea, setting things on fire, you know. Okay, then I guess I'll... Yeah. <laughs> she left. What happened? I thought we were starting to warm up to her. Yeah, oh, no, I, I, think she, I think she might be pissed off that we didn't do that thing. Was, we, oh, were, yeah. we were supposed to do it, right? But it's not even mentioning yeah, it. it. It, it wasn't after the thing, right? No, it was that supposed was to be before. after dinner. Yeah, I, well, was it because we were messing with the whole old Yana cleaning up that mess? Oh, you think? Uh, yeah, that was probably. Eh, better not have been. Did we have a choice in that yeah. to not chase her? I mean, that was after lunch. That was wasn't a after choice dinner. To run away, oh yeah, but... that was after lunch. Wait, we had a chance to run away. Yeah. yeah, it might just be like during that was when it set everything back a little bit and then we were so tired we fell asleep after dinner or whatever. <sighs> that bothered me Damn if it. that's the case. Yeah. Looks like the whole camp was at the square. The pioneers formed large groups, talked, <laughs> joked around, and laughed. At the DJ's panel, Ulyana argued loudly with Olga Dmitrievna about the playlist for the evening. And here it is. The music started to play. I didn't know the band or the song, but if you ask me, I really felt that I'd tag it Soviet Pop Classics. The pioneers just stood there for some time as if not hearing the music. It's always hard to take the first step, especially if you're pretty sure that you'll be the only one who would take it. You know, Olyana seemed to not grasp that simple truth. She reached the center of the square with few bounds and cried out loud, What are you all standing around for? And started to wiggle ridiculously. Wiggle is the exact word. You couldn't find a better one. It looked so silly and funny that I couldn't resist laughing. She noticed it. Hey, Semyon! I pretended I couldn't hear her. Stop pretending! Come over here! I kept ignoring her. The pioneers slowly realized that they weren't too <laughs> sexy for this party and started to dance. <laughs> okay. What? Is that is that the right word? Was that... <laughs> that was lost in translation. That's not right. Man, I don't feel very sexy for this party. I better start dancing. <laughs> <laughs> it looked really silly from my point of view. Shaking one's arms and legs to the beat of long-forgotten hits? Come on, get real. Of course, I couldn't dance at all, but this thing couldn't be called a dance either. Hey, Semyon, what are you sitting there for? Don't you want to dance? I was so deep in thoughts that I hadn't even noticed Slovia. Not really. Are you sure? She smiled. Maybe later. Damn, what am I even doing here? One more invitation to dance would completely ruin my pride. I started to think about an appropriate excuse to leave and was looking for the moment to do so. But then I saw Lena. She was slowly heading my way. Maybe we should go. Where to? I was so immersed in my thoughts that I didn't really get what she meant. To the infirmary. Alright, here we go. But if you want to stay here and dance... I doubt she was going to dance. Lena had stood aside the whole evening. No, I'll pass. Let's go. At least I won't have to stand here like a shy nerd. 
Seriously, trying to conceal myself in the corner wasn't very pleasant. A bull in a china shop would be more agile than me on the dance floor. I didn't have a slightest intention of dancing in the first place. Well, shall we go to the infirmary? Now that we've already oh, left and are at the canteen. Yeah, let's <laughs> just go to the canteen for uh, no reason, really. <laughs> Lena brought me out from my thoughts. We'd been just standing near the canteen for some time. Uh, yes, sure, uh, thank you. What for? She looked at me in surprise. Well, forget me out of that, that out of there. I shouldn't have told her that dancing is not my thing. It's, you know, so boring there. Seems to me, oh, fudge. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I just tried to read that. Seems to me you don't like dancing. There was not a trace of sarcasm in her truthful, even childlike face. You can't say that. Don't don't say childlike face. I I don't want to hear that. Seems now we're like, all on edge. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Can we actually go for Lena? Seems like she really doesn't understand. Yeah, yeah, don't like it at all. I'm I'm not into it. Me too. No one ever invites me to dance. Lena blushed and stared at the ground as usual. Stared at the ground as usual. Strange. Not strange. Well, that no one ever invites you. Aww. <laughs> you <think so? laughs> In character. Wait, did Zach read that line? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Again, she looked at me with an expression expression of surprise and a lack of understanding. I got confused and hey. couldn't find what to say in return right away. I'm a little bit kind of confused. Because I don't know if Zach said that because he was role playing as Lena, and I was like, oh, that's so sweet. Or if he just naturally thinks that kind of line is so sweet. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of both, Alex. A little bit of both. <laughs> yes, certainly. If I liked dancing, I would have invited you for sure. Thanks. We didn't say a word for the rest of the way. Lena obviously felt too confused by my awkward compliment, and I just didn't know what topic to choose for a conversation. Is there a little cat in there? What is that? What is that little guy doing? Well, it's glowing. <laughs> it's a cat. It was completely dark by that time, and the gloomy building of the infirmary, covered in the night mist, looked strongly like a haunted house. Do you think that's the cat lady? <laughs> there she <Fighting>. is. <laughs> Bang. I felt a strong desire to turn around and walk away without making a noise. I threw a quick glance at Lena and noticed that she looked like usual. Shy, modest, uncertain, but not in any way scared. It just made me even more uncomfortable. It can't be that she's not scared while I... Suddenly an owl hooted nearby and I shivered. Lena seemed either to not hear it, not pay attention to it, or just not be scared by it at all. I hardly could what believe the jump? third option. But I didn't want to ask her about it, giving away my own fear. I entered the infirmary and found a switch in the dark. Will the nurse come later? She won't come. Okay, she won't come. Understood. Wait a second. It's lagging out. What do you mean she won't come? I was I was lost in thought as I was standing in front of somebody. I'm sorry. <laughs> ah, I see. It is not that I'm afraid to be alone with Lena indoors that night with no one around. <laughs> Only in movies does something happen under such circumstances. It's just that I am with Lena and not with Ilyana or Slavia. And it seriously changed my attitude towards things happening. There are the boxes. She pointed at the messy stack of boxes. There were about a dozen of them. It would take much more than ten minutes of work. I put out one of the boxes on the table before me and started taking out its contents. <laughs> There were bandages, lots of little packets of packs of bandages. Okay. Here, take this. 
And then he gave me a piece of paper. There were some fields, and I quickly realized that I should put the, na put the name on the left, the description in the middle, if there was one, and the quantity in the right field. It's not a database, but it'll do. The work started in full swing. Simeon. What? I looked at Elena. She stared at me for a couple of moments, seemingly making up her mind to do or to say something, but then lowered her gaze again. No, never mind. It was physically hard for me to just sit without saying a word. However, I didn't dare to speak first, not only because I couldn't think of a good topic for conversation, but that I was just feeling shy. This girl could easily be embarrassed by anything. Simeon. Yes? Oh shoot, my screen just went blank. You were counting them all over again. <laughs> Oops. Indeed, I had started to take out and put into the database the bandages I had already counted. Oh, sorry. She didn't answer. Hey, where are you from? I mean, where did you come from? Meaning where you were, were you born? I mean, I mean, where do you live? Well, I... There's a town not far from here. Not far from here? Where's that? Somewhere. Looks like she doesn't want to talk about it. Is Lena hiding something too? It is explicable in the case of Olga Dmitrievna, but in Lena's case? It's absolutely not like her. Is it a secret? No. Just. So, is it somewhere in the south too? I should have thought of something more original. Every single one of my sudden ideas turned out the wrong way, and this attempt to play spy worked out even worse. And I thought about South, but just because the only pioneer camp of the Soviet Union I remembered was Arctic. Yes. Lena hesitated to reply. I couldn't quite tell if she was lying or not. Don't you like it here? I wonder what part of that I said made her think so. Absolutely not, I like it here. My false friendliness sounded very insincere, grating on the ears. Don't you like it here? Absolutely not. <laughs> I like it here. Is that what I said? Yeah. yeah. Oh shit. <laughs> that didn't, oh, okay. My bad. Uh, um, I, I don't know what it said. Don't you like it here too? Oh. I like it. I have to click on the screen like a peon. It's so calm here. There are lots of books in the library. And the people are nice. Nice, but not all of them. Why? Did I really say that last bit out loud? Turns out I did. Well, you know... Olyana, for example, she's like an energizer battery with a complete un completely unbalanced point of power application. Battery? What? Maybe I really was sent back in time. Ne never mind. Or Eliza, the saying, a pioneer is the kid's role model, certainly doesn't describe her. If everyone started following her example, it would be a complete disaster for the country in 20 years or so. However, thinking about it now, you, you can draw the conclusion that everybody did follow the example of Eliza Dvachevskaya in the 80s, where I probably am right now. What? Because, like, the tear down the wall thing? Well, is that supposed to be who El Eliza is? I don't understand. Is I she... was more thinking that... Like a rebel a and, like, punk and shit? I was thinking that was kind of like an era of, like, kind of like rock music. I have no idea. She's not like that, actually. Not like that? Not like what? Not like what you said about her. <laughs> to begin with, I hadn't said anything. I just stated the fact that she's not the best example to follow. Well, maybe. 
Sounds like you know her well enough. Probably. I asked that question only to keep the conversation going and didn't expect an answer like that. Eliza and Lana were so different. The idea that they could be close was unbelievable for me. We came from the same town. As if she had foreseen my question. We have common friends, even though Eliza is one year older. Okay, it's a little bit strange. Oh, not like that, I'm just surprised. Everyone gets surprised. Lana smiled a bit. I took the second box. Analginum, an analginum activated charcoal, <laughs> analginum okay. activated charcoal, saline solution, potassium permanganate, f uh, analginum. Lana was always <laughs> spoken simple sentences. How can I communicate with her if every conversation turns out into a monologue or just an awkward silence? I wasn't quite satisfied with such a state of things. Sometimes it looked like she's hiding something behind her mask of shadows. <laughs> but what? You know, I read a book not that long ago. Do you like science fiction? Not much. Damn, another failure. Well, if you don't like it, then what books do you like? Different kinds. Oh my god. <laughs> the conversation wasn't going smoothly, and I had to turn Different it off. Different kinds. <laughs> Who knows why, but... I thought about the dance again. Feelings of uneasiness, discomfort, and even shame overwhelmed me once more. Looks like I'm not that different from Lana when it comes to such things. I'm shy and afraid of things I don't understand or can't do. I should probably probably overcome my own fears before anything else. And this will help me to understand her better. I've made up my mind. There are only a couple boxes left. Yes. Hey, I've got an idea. How about we go to the canteen afterwards? I think the tape recorder was taken back there. What is it doing in the canteen? And why are we... I hesitated. What for? Her sincere... Her sincere look. Okay. Her sincere look made it clear that she hadn't the slightest idea what I'm going to offer. Well, frankly speaking, I just don't know how to dance. That's why I don't like it. That's the reason I was so confused back there. What? Maybe I should thank you by dancing with you. But I. She stopped sorting out the medicine for a moment, blushed, and looked right into my eyes. I I got to beat stubborn. It really was a stupid idea. It's okay if, if you don't want to. I don't insist. What if someone sees us? I certainly didn't think about that. It's not a big deal, but... Everybody is asleep already. And no one's going to go to a canteen at night. How will we get there? I should have thought about that beforehand. Well... I did have Slovia's keys, but didn't want to mention them. Someone could get the wrong idea about me stealing them. That moment I regretted that I still didn't get my cell phone from the ladies' cabin. Anyway, I had to say something to get away from this awkward topic. Um, uh, what kind of music do you like? Different kinds. Oh my you god. Are. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, we, we got a little bit more. I'm not really into it. Then let's imagine that it's playing now. I mean, that you. that we hear it playing. How's that? Like, like it plays in your head. I still remember the melody the pioneers were dancing to. The music and words are really clear in my memory. I'm not sure I can do it. You can just try. 
Probably. I've got her consent. Yes, we're in. <laughs> in Lena's case, even that probably can be considered yes. Blink. We silently sorted medical supplies for the rest of the time, writing down their names and quantities. I should pay more attention to every word I say after such luck. I stayed silent most of the time, though. Soon we finished the last box. I gave Lena the filled-in list and started to stare at her, like I saw Bigfoot riding a unicycle while juggling piglets. It was amazing, frightening, and above all, mem mesmerizing. She suddenly broke out laughing. That's an interesting... <laughs> <laughs> what? That look of yours. What about it? It's just funny. Really? Yes, so where are we going to go? Where? Your last words unsettled me. I completely forgot about what we were talk what we were talking about. Frankly speaking, I had completely left this world for a moment. Well, you know. To dance. Lena blushed right away, and her face took on a strange expression of shyness, uneasiness, and fear. Ah, yes, sorry, I was just uh, lost in thought. Lost in the sauce. Let's go to the pier. I don't know why I chose that place. Maybe because you could run into a pioneer at the square, in the residential area, or near the canteen, but <coughs> not on the pier. That's what I thought, at least. Or maybe because of the large, bright moon reflecting on the water in the night. And it is a full moon today. Tonight. Tomorrow. I don't know how, but the solution just offered itself. If you don't like it, then we can... No, that's a really nice place. Lena locked the door and we made our way to the pier. Night fell on the sleeping camp. Should we follow the road? Why? It will be faster through the forest. There's a nice path there. So use two eyes instead of two L's for well. Be, it will be faster. <laughs> it will be much faster. <laughs> it's dark there. Are you afraid? Not really. If you want to. Okay. Conversation. But can I... Without finishing, she grabbed onto my arm. Aww, we still don't have eyes. <laughs> <laughs> we don't even really look that happy, it's just like, yeah. <laughs> also, of course, the, the artist had to make this happen right there. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know that was on purpose. No shit, it was on purpose. <laughs> Disgusting. Really makes, really makes her look disproportional. You knew it was going to happen, Chris. Come on. Knew it was going to. If it wasn't going to happen now, it was going to happen at the pier. Is she not wearing a bra? Because there's like no support on the right block side. Well, at least it happened, Henry. At least it happened. Oh, that's true. It's true. True love, you can tell <laughs> from this guy. <laughs> I, I feel like it's supposed to be a blank face. Uh, so that way, <laughs> our perceptions can be put onto the blank. And yeah, it's just like artwork. it's like Slenderman. He's got no eyes. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna paste Henry's face on that guy in the other day. <laughs> oh my god! You, you really fantastic. should. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> Let's get it. Let's no. go.